In this video, I want to demonstrate the block design of 4 bit triple carry adder using Vivado tool. First, create a project. Create a design source. Click on next. Give the file name as full adder. Click on finish. Define the module name as full adder and provide the inputs as A, B, C in as the input. S is the sum and C out is the carry. These are defined as the output. Click OK. Double click on this design source. Provide the body of this module for a full adder. Assign sum is equal to A xor b xor c in and assign c out which is a carry a and b or B and C in or A and C in. Terminate it. Save the design. The description of a full adder is complete. Now I want to generate the IP of this full adder module. To create the IP module, go to the tools, click on create and package new IP, click on next, select this package. Next, so this is the location where the IP will be stored. Click on next, finally finish. During the creation of the IP, it has certain packaging steps like indentation, compatibility, file groups. Here you need to check the name of this module or IP, version and display name as well as the ports. So these are the ports A, B, C in, sum and C out. Click on this customization GUI. It shows the inputs and outputs of this particular GUI. Then click on renew and package. Click on this particular package IP. The full adder IP package is done successfully. Now you can close the package IP as well as this full adder. This is just a one bit full adder. Now to create a four bit full adder, which is a ripple carry adder in this format with three inputs, 
create the block design. For that, go to the IP integrator. Click on create block design. You can have the same name or you can change it. Click OK. It opens a new diagrammatic view where you can have the IP course here. You can place the IP course from this add IP block or from here right click add IP search for the full adder that was the IP which we have created double click on this this was the full adder IP which we have created ABC in and some C out which is a single bit but I want to create a 4 bit full adder for creating a 4 bit triple carry adder 4 1 bit full adders are required so place 4 1 bit adders use control C and control V you can maximize this Now this full adder is a single bit. I want to provide A0, B0, A1, B1, A2, B2, A3 and B3. For that you can go to this add IP and select slice. Before that, you place the ports, right click and click on create port. Enter the port as A and click on create vector with MSB as 3 and LSB as 0. Click OK. It is a 4 bit. Similarly, create another port which is a B create vector MSB of 3 LSB of 0 this slice is just like a converter that is vector will be converted into single bit applied input is a here 3 down to 0 it is a vector this has to be converted into single bit that is A0 and B0 for that we are using this slice block double click on this the input is a 4 bit so data width is changed to 4 and keep D in 0 D down to 0 which is first bit a of 0 will be extracted by this similarly you do it for first bit double click on this d in width is 4 this time it has to extract the first bit so keep it as 1 so that means this is 0 and this is 1 first bit is extracted by this in the similar manner this is for second bit totally four bits four slice blocks this is for third bit Connect this
a of 0, a of 1, a of 2 and a of 3. So it extracts. In a similar manner, get this 4 copy for B input. And this is for second bit. And this one is for final bit. So this is B of 0. You double click on it and check that it is 0 bit. This one, 1. Connect this. And this one is second bit. Finally, this is the third bit. Now you connect these inputs, single bit inputs to this full adder. This is A of 0, B of 0, A of 1, B of 1, A of 2, B of 2, A of 3, and this is B of 3. And assume that the user has to provide user has to provide the input. Let me zoom this first. Scene is the user input. Make it as external. And since it is a ripple carry adder, the output will act as an input to this. So make the input connection. Make this sum as external. Similarly, this, this sum will act as an external and this is the ripple carry. Make it as external. And this has previous carry. Here you will have two outputs. Make this two as external. This is the final schematic. Regenerate the layout. Then validate the design. There are no errors. Once this is done, go to the design. Right click and click on create HDL wrapper. Click OK. This will convert the block design into Verilog. Once this step is done, directly you can go to the run simulation. Click on run behavioral simulation.
so a b and c in are the inputs and these are the carry now first restart then you assign the values right click on it force constant you can provide directly the binary value or hexadecimal value let me provide the binary value as 8 and b value binary value is 3 you can have your own value click ok and I want to have C in the value as 0 initial value as 0 then you simulate it for 10 microseconds click on this Here you have the decimal value. You can just group this to have the decimal value of select this outputs. Right click and create new virtual bus. The value is different because if you change this, the value will change. You can select this, change the radix to unsigned decimal. Now you can see the results. Eight plus three will give me the result as eleven. In a similar manner, I can again force the clock or constant. Now change the value to one. Again, you simulate it for ten microseconds. See the values. Earlier the value was eleven. When scene was 0, this time the value is 12. 8 plus 3 plus 1. Plus 1 it is there. 8, 3, 1. Total 12.